The number of IITs has increased from 7 to 15 in 2008 and then to 23 by 2016. We already know how first generation IITs fare in terms of rankings. In this video, I would like to discuss about second generation IITs that were started in 2008. There is IITs in Hyderabad, Indore, Gandhinagar, Patna, Bhubaneswar, Ropar, Mandi and Jodhpur. It's been more than 10 years that these have been created and now they have become quite established, have full-fledged campuses and also a large alumni network. The third gen IITs are yet to catch up and it might take 5 to 10 more years to get on par with the rest of them. So here we will look at certain metrics to see how these new second gen IITs are faring when it comes to undergraduate education. I will not be looking at NIRF rankings or any other rankings but I will be specifically focusing on following three factors. First factor is which are the most sought after IITs among JE rankers. Institutes which have better students tend to fare better than rest of the institutes in the long term. We see that trend in old IITs. IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi and IIT Madras have very low opening and closing ranks compared to other IITs and these three are also considered the best IITs. We can see the correlation between these two metrics. So in a similar way, let's check the opening and closing ranks for CSC branch in second gen IITs for 2019. Here are the numbers. I am only considering general category opening and closing ranks here. So we could take closing ranks of CSE department as a metric to scale the popularity of IITs among rank holders. IIT Hyderabad has the lowest closing rank whereas Mandi has the highest closing rank. Indore, Gandhinagar, Rupar and Bhuvaneshwar fall in between. IIT Hyderabad has an opening rank of 203 and closing rank of 616. IIT Indoor's opening rank is larger than the closing rank of IIT Hyderabad CSA department. So students whoever had the option to choose between Hyderabad and Indoor obviously chose Hyderabad campus and only chose Indoor CSC when they couldn't get CSC in Hyderabad. We can note that students preferred IITs in larger cities than the ones in comparatively remote locations like Mandi and Jodhpur. We could say among the second gen institutes, Hyderabad and Indore top the list. Now if we compare top 3 of this list with first gen IITs, the ranks stack up like this. So all first gen IITs have better closing ranks than Hyderabad and Indo, even though Guwahati's numbers are quite close to that of Hyderabad's. I also compared opening and closing ranks of other branches across institutes and they too followed a very similar trend. Now let's look at the campuses. All IITs provide good campuses and great facilities for its students, be it sports, or various clubs or libraries, labs, everything about them is fantastic. If we specifically look at IIT Hyderabad, IIT Hyderabad has a strong association with Japan. Lot of Japanese companies also participate in placement sessions here. The institute has very good research facilities and excellent faculty. They even have a separate branch specifically focused on artificial intelligence. IIT Indore also has a beautiful campus. This institute has a great culture for competitive programming and has consistently done well in international programming contests. They also have a great CS department. Also note that both these campuses are not within the city but 30 to 40 kilometers away from their respective cities. The third factor is placements. Lots of students consider placements as another factor while choosing an institute. Now if we look at placements, average offer for an IIT Hyderabad bachelor student for 2019-20 is 21 lakhs per annum. 77% of the students got placed and a total of 120 plus companies have participated in the placements session. And for IIT Indo, average placement offer was 22 lakhs per annum. Total number of companies visited was around 160. Highest CTC was 50 lakhs per annum in India. So 
Overall, out of all second gen IITs, Hyderabad and Indore are the best ones and fare much better than other IITs. It will be hard to say which is better between these two IITs as it becomes very subjective. Even though most students chose Hyderabad as their first preference, Indo performed slightly better in terms of placement metrics. I would consider both of them equally good. I will be making a lot more videos related to IITs. Do subscribe to this channel so you can get more updates.